Hello, it's Ari Wickes for the Yeshiva League Tip-Off Podcast, and we are here to give our Player of the Week interview, and this week we have Isaac Towell. We're going to get him on right now. Let's invite him on. Hang on. Hi. Hey, there he is. How you doing, Isaac? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. So let me uh, just give you a little introduction here. This is Isaac Towell, the senior uh, star player for the YDE Thunder. He is our player of the week, our uh, name to know for the week. And uh, pleasure to have you. And uh, thank you for joining us. Or uh, when I say us, I mean me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. So let's get right into it. You are uh, a force to be reckoned with this season. I've seen you uh, firsthand, you know, witness uh, your scoring barrage. Uh, you're leading the Yeshiva League in uh, points per game, probably cumulative points as well. Tell us about your, your journey. I know you weren't always with YDE. This is uh, the first season at the with the Thunder. Tell us, you know, how you got there and uh, how the team is doing thus far. Yes, yeah, so ninth grade, I started in Shade Torah. I was there. And then I was there till 11th grade. And then in 11th grade, um, Shade canceled the team, the basketball team, so... I, I transferred to YDE senior year. And right. Then, well, when when it wasn't just Shadre. First, I love the way you say Shadre. The way the way that they canceled the season. It was it was the entire league that canceled the season. So don't hold it uh, no, same, you know, no, against Shari Torah. No, but they canceled the basketball team itself. Like for for senior year, they weren't even going to have one. Ah. So okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So then, so you transferred to YDE after, I'm sure, a very big recruiting battle between Mag, Mag, Mag and David, Flatbush. I'm sure they were all after you, you know, kind of, uh, you know, rolling out the red carpet. So you, you end up at YDE, uh, which is a great program. I mean, a star, they've been stars, you know, from back in the day. They always have a player who steps up. And, you know, I've seen you play this year and this you are a scoring machine, and what I personally love about your game is you kind of let the – in the game that I've seen, I haven't seen every game, but in the games that, I, that I've seen, you kind of let the game come to you. You're not, you're not looking to, you know, put your head down at every opportunity. You kind of pick and choose. And how do you have that scoring mentality while still playing it within the team frame, you know, in a team game? I just let the game come to me, you know. I trust my teammates. You know, they're going to find me when I'm open. And, yeah, I just – Trust them. You trust them. That's good. Trust. Trust is important, not only in basketball but in life as well. So that's that's uh, that's something good. So we have to harp on on one game. This was, you know, I think one of the first games of the season. You had a uh, triple overtime uh, thriller against uh, Waterbury, I believe, and you guys scored sixty nine points according to uh, my uh, my crew who does all our research, which is me. And uh, you had uh, forty five of those sixty nine points. So tell me. You know, on the heels of Ryan Terrell last night getting 51, what did that feel like? Were you, were you thinking every time you shot it was going in, or was it just like you put the team on your back? What was the mentality during that game? I mean, that game was crazy. It was back and forth, you know, bucket after bucket, both teams. And, yeah, I was just putting my head down and going strong to the hole, and I, I got hot. So, yeah, it was a good game. So, yeah. So, like a smart coach and smart teammates, they pretty much were feeding the beast when they saw that you were uh, you you were the man to get the ball to if you wanted to get the W, and, and you did. So, I've, I've seen that you've had a, had a bunch of good games. Who would you say thus far has been? And no one has obviously stopped you when you're averaging you know thirty points or twenty five plus. You know, I don't know the exact number. A game who has been the toughest defender? You know, if you had to single out one person who has kind of you know you had to work a little harder to get those buckets. Probably the Ramaz game. Um, I, think, I think the kid Dabe guarded me. That right, was right. Oh, yes. More, Morris Dabe, yes, on Ramaz. So that was – and you still got your point. So it's not uh, It's not like anyone is exactly uh, shutting you down. But, you know, obviously you're going to have to deal, and you've been dealing with a lot of box and ones, you know, if there's anything more than a box and one, a uh, triangle and two with both players guarding you. I mean, that would be interesting. But, you know, I'm sure you, you're going to have a lot of different defenses thrown at you, and you got a great coach. Um, who can kind of, you know, guide you through that. So what are the aspirations for YDE? Is this uh, championship aspirations this season? Or, uh, you know, what, what are you guys thinking? Of course, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. Absolutely. So how, how, did, how does it feel going to YDE? Did you know, I'm sure you knew a lot of the kids just from around town in Brooklyn and Deal and just, you know, playing with them. Was it, was it a hard decision or was it always, you know, if it wasn't Shade, Torah, it was going to be YDE? 
it was always really YD because my dad, I don't think he would have let me went to Mag and David. You know, I just, I don't know. But yeah, it was always really YD if it was shot at, wasn't had a team. Right. So you're happy with your decision. You're right now you're, you're three and one on the season. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what are the, uh, do, you, do you go out there every game saying, you know, get me the ball. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in the bucket. I put it in the basket. Or is it, is it like, you know what, knowing the teams are gearing up to stop you, is it, you know, ha have you had to like, tr you know, transfer your game to try to be a playmaker as well? Yeah, of course. You know, most of the people, most of the time I'm going to beat the first guy. You know, people are going to double me and triple me. And then that that's where I kick it out. My teammates will hit their, they'll hit their shots. Right. You, you trust them. And also I, I did in uh look at, I saw some, I'm not sure. I, I'm going to have to ask. I saw you doing some dunking. I just started following you on Instagram. So I saw you were dunking, but it's Brooklyn. It's a little unconventional. It's on top of a roof. You know, is it 10 feet? Is it seven that is, feet? What is it? It is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't post a dunk if it's under 10. It's not. Okay. Impressive. Okay. <laughs> By the way, everyone who's out there, follow Isaac Towel. What, what's your tagline? What's your, uh, your Instagram name? Isaac Towel 10. Okay. You can see it. You can see what I'm talking about. You know, he's basically, you know, dunking on, on the on the top of a roof. So I wasn't sure if it was 10 feet or not, but those are some, some really nice dunks. Are you, have you ever had an in-game dunk yet or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. That, that's that got to be a goal, right? To, yeah, to put one down. Of course. Okay. Here's the question. Would you rather... All right, I'm going to have to put this. Obviously, you'd rather win over, over lose in any scenario, right? I, I can tell, obviously, the way you play. My question sure. is, would you rather have 10 points, win the game, but have a dunk, or 30 points, win the game, and have no dunks? Mm. That's a tough question. <laughs> you know, I just came up. I just thought of it right now. It wasn't even part of my research. I'm just like... Because I understand, look, I, I'm physically challenged. I'm six feet, but I'm Jewish, and I have no uh, Syrian blood in me, so I'm definitely not dunking. So, you know, to put one down has got to be an unbelievable Yeah, probably, probably 10 points in the dunk because we got the win and I dunked, you know? Right, right. Okay. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to agree with that. I think to get the crowd and get, you know, that's something you'll always have. The 30, 40, 50-point games, I mean, you'll probably have in your future. So, um, you know, there's definitely an opportunity for that to happen. Well, you know, listen, thank you for joining us. Really happy that you were able to uh, to come on. I know there was a lot of media requests and you, you decided to go with Yeshiva League Pass here today. So thank you for that. And, and we're going to we're going to continue following you. And, uh, you know, hopefully you follow uh, the Yeshiva League uh, podcast, the tip off podcast. And you know, we're going to do great things all year. And uh, we wish you nothing but Hatzlacha in the rest of the season. And uh, keep you. up. With your work. Thank you. All right. Good. Take care, Isaac. Okay, bye.